Hello everyone, my name is Diva. I'm a reseller on Poshmark, Macari, and eBay. I sell women's fashion. Today I have another Help C Source unboxing for you. It is the denim. I think it's Fundamentals Denim. I don't even know. It'll be in the description of this video, the title box. But anyway, um, let's find out what's in this box. I want to shout out to the people who um, made this box because it is so nicely um, folded in there. So shout out to the people who created this box and um, sent got it sent in a nice condition. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, let's find out because if you saw my previous video for the Help C unboxing, um, it did not go well. I bought the 15 piece fundamentals and I did not get stuff I was excited about. So check that out and then yeah, <laughs> come back here. All right, so let's find out what type of denim we received in this box. So right on the top here, we have a, an overall, is it? It's a jumpsuit. And this is a celebrity pink size large denim jumpsuit and it's short sleeve. And yeah, this is very exciting to me. Um, I really like Celebrity Pink. Um, I have sold a jacket from there before. Shorts I did not sell. I did sell shorts to buy, sell, trade. So that's exciting to me to get Celebrity Pink. Next is Joe's. More of these little sticky things if you saw my previous video. <laughs> Um, this is Joe's. Let me see. This is a skinny ankle, size 26. Looks like a gray color. But yeah, just a skinny jean. Not really in style right now, but people still buy skinny jeans. Um, this is a 7 for All Mankind. Kimmy Straight Leg is a size, I guess, 23. That's probably going to go to buy sell trade. Um, it looks like a juniors. Um, and it's really small. So that's probably going to go to buy sell trade. I have zero luck with seven for all mankind. Um, this is a nine West jeans. Um, it looks new without tag size six Missy. And I guess West end fit or something. They are a size, they're like a blue, like kind of capri, I think, or ankle kind of jean, but they're missy. Um, Nine West, I don't know how Nine West does, so that's yeah, probably going to go to buy, sell, trade as well. I, I've got to have some, something great here. <laughs> All right, here's another one of these. All right, this is a no-name jean, JK. This is a Topshop Moto. Um, it's a size 26. Um, and it's just a black skinny jean. Um, the tag for Topshop is right there. This is probably gonna go to buy, sell, trade too. Um, I usually get an average of $3 per item at my buy, sell, trade, which I'm, happy about for most things um it would be really nice though like if i could sell these myself next jeans 15 years um are these also like kid kind of jeans i have no idea um but they are like i guess boys they look like boys i could be wrong but yeah, they are definitely kids jeans. I don't know if you here next and they have the little like adjuster. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. We've got some distress. These are C Sono basic denim size three. They are another pair of juniors jeans. Um, I am like, I'm not liking all these junior jeans, but 
Anyway, they're kind of cute. They're distressed, dark. We've got whiskering. And I'm not seeing any puckering, so that's good. But they're skinny. This is a pair of Faded Glory Classic Fit. You can't even tell like what size they are because they're the tag is faded. <laughs> uh, but anyway, there's that. These look like men's jeans too. Totally men's jeans, right? OMG. Okay, this is Chocolate USA, size medium. Um, I don't, I've never heard of that. Um, but it doesn't feel very great. And it doesn't feel like denim. And it's kind of worn. It's like a worn gray. I don't know, man. This is not America's thrift supply. <laughs> These are $4 a pair. Um, but yeah, I think they're supposed to be 50 pairs, so we'll see if it gets better. By, uh, this is DG2 by Diane Gilman, size 14. I like that size, but I don't know. I've never heard of that. <laughs> I'll look it up. Definitely look it up. It doesn't, I don't know, it seems like Jay-Z Penny or something, you know? definitely worn though um the creases are supposed to be there okay this is the first great item i received this is a pair of w william rast jeans they're size 25 they're a regular rise trouser so that's good they're like a bootleg kind of um, like flare kind of deal. So that's cool. And it's regular rise Savoy. So it is not, you know, it's like mid rise. So that's the first good jean I received. Um, this is Gloria Vanderbilt size 14, which is, isn't that sold at like Costco or something? Um, but they're a pair of black jeans. I don't know if I'm gonna sell these myself. I don't really do really well with Gloria Vanderbilt, and it's kind of cheapy. All right, this is another, this is a seven jean, a size six. I have sold, I don't know what, if it's a certain rise or anything. But I have sold these kind of jeans before. I have one in stock right now that hasn't sold. It looks, uh, it's got some like torn stuff at the hem. That's not good. I was going to say I like the leg on it because it looks like an ankle jean, but I don't know. This is a universal thread. And yes, I'm taking these tags off because they are in my way. This is a size 18, 34. And yeah, I do fairly well with universal thread jeans, um, especially the bigger sizes. So that's not bad, right? Okay, this is great brand. This is Democracy. It's a size eight. Um, I forget where it's sold at. Um, but yeah, this is, I love Democracy jeans. And yeah, this is, they're, they're pulled on. Look at the, you know, it's a straight leg. Yeah, definitely nice. Ugh. I like it, but I can't keep this one. I actually kept another one that didn't have the, pull tab in the back and um and yeah it's probably like one of the most comfortable pairs of jeans I've ever worn because I love how it buttons but it also has elastic waist curvy girls all right so hopefully I can get something good for those maybe hopefully 40 or 50 bucks 
Okay, this is a wax jean, size 14. I have definitely heard of this. I don't know where though. But that's what that looks like. Um, and it is a stretchy kind of material. It's got whiskering, it's got the distressing, the skinny leg. Um, it does look like it might be high rise. Look how tall that rise is right here. So yeah, those are nice and I like that size. So it's getting a little bit better here for me. This is a big star. Okay, this is a 1974 Alex. It is a skinny jean, but it is in the, it's got zippers and moto kind of style. So that's nice. Size 27 and big star goes for good money. I kept a pair of distressed bomb jeans one time from big star but I did see the comps on them were like maybe a hundred bucks. <laughs> so I don't know how much the moto ones would go for, but these are black and black jeans don't sell as well as like the blue jeans, but we'll see. Moto jeans are really popular even if they're skinny. So, all right, this is a time and true. It is a size two dark wash jean. Probably going to add those to buy, sell, trade pile. They are skinny. So, we, yeah, we're going to add those to buy, sell, trade. I don't, I'm not selling anything time and true anymore, which is from Walmart. And the reason why I'm not selling it anymore is because I can't get anybody to buy it. And it sits for years in my store. So, yeah. Anyway, this is Wax Jean, but I love you. Okay, I've definitely, I think I've sold a pair of something like this before. This is a size 527. They are juniors. Maybe I will still list these. They're light wash. I'm liking the distress on them. They look like they're cuffed a little bit. Hem. There we go. Hmm. I'm definitely going to put measurements, but <laughs> see, they like to accentuate the backside. So, yeah, maybe I'll list those. We'll see. I don't know. I think they do okay. Uh-oh, we have a pair of pull-on vintage jeans, y'all. Avenue Blues. Jeans wear unlimited. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no. <laughs> this is going to have to get donated. It's, it's one of those. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm going to have to donate these. Like, these just, I don't know who wears these anymore. I mean, they could be grandma core, but I don't know. All right. This is JMS, just my size. A 1X. They are pulling like gray charcoal kind of wash. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to list these or not. We'll see. I'll look them up. Um, it's not really, I mean, it's kind of a popular style with the wider leg, straight leg, so. Yeah, we'll see. All right, we're halfway, halfway done. <laughs> um, this is Liverpool, Los Angeles, size 829. Um, maybe that's good. This is a crop straight. Those look comfy. Wow. These look really comfy. I don't know, are these men? No, because they're cropped at the bottom. These are really cute. I've never heard of Liverpool. Have you? Yeah, I like those. Those are nice. Perfect for spring. I'll look those up. Okay, these are Rewash. This is a good brand. All right, this is Rewash um, New York, size 1130. Um, and they're distressed and also an ankle. And they're stretchy a little bit. But that is what they look like. So cute. These are adorable. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to list these. Um, I sold a pair of rewash like linen pants or something. Um, and those sold for a good amount. So like 20 or 30 bucks. So I'm definitely going to, jeans will probably do better. So I will definitely look those up. 
So it is getting better. It is getting better. All right, this is another Gloria Vanderbilt. Probably going to keep these. Um, this is the Amanda. It's an 8 Petite. So I'm probably going to keep these. Um, these are really nice, just like plain, you know, um, jeans. But I really like plain jeans because I can't wear my... I cannot wear my distressed jeans all the time, and that makes up at least three quarters of my pants that I wear. And yes, I'm in my 30s, and I wear ripped jeans that cost $100. I'm never going to grow up. Um, anyway, um, this is an this is a new approach. It's a 12 wide leg, and these are a dark wash jean. Um, I cannot get anybody to buy a new approach for me. I have listed stuff very low and people will not buy anything from this brand for me. Um, I think it's Kohl's. Um, usually Kohl's stuff is popular, right? This is cute though. Maybe I will try to list it just because it's kind of trendy. Okay. This is, I can't read that, Rancan? think I've heard of that never sold it before this is a size 7 27 um I can't read cursive but this is what it looks like ran can right okay um they're kind of stretchy um they feel very well made they've got some distressing they're skinny I don't know I'm definitely gonna look these up I've never heard of these and you never know if you have a a good thing or not all right moving on another pair of full on basic pants this is a size 10 short classic elements oh yeah these definitely look like they're from the 90s um or earlier but yeah, straight leg, no pockets. I mean, tell me, is this going to go for like grandma core or not? Like, do people want to buy this? I mean, it looks like, it looks very old. They look comfy, but I'm not a fan. This is David, Buffalo David Bitten. Um, and it is a size 226 jean. I have sold a couple things from this brand before. It doesn't go for much. Maybe $15. But, hey, you know, that's, I guess that'll get my $4 back, right? <laughs> this is a No Boundaries size 3, and this is a Junior's brand jean. Um, and it's a button-up, high-rise, skinny. Oh, look at that puckering. That's terrible, right? Um, that's going to be donated. It does have a lot of puckering. All right, this is Momo Chrome a size 10 UK um, so I guess European brand never heard of it um, it might looks like a mom jean um, uh, looks like a guy jean I will have to look that up um, I don't know the difference anymore honestly I think it's a I think it's a mom jean but because look at the ankle split okay so I'll look those up I've never heard of this brand before uh, that's what the back looks like. There's no other thing on it. I mean, it looks trendy, so I'll check that out. Okay, this is a pair of maternity, Gap maternity, okay. A pair of Gap maternity. Um, authentic, true, skinny, size 27. I might list that. Um, but yeah, that's what it looks like inside got the wording on the belly band but anyway um these are nice I like this I definitely sell out all of my maturity clothes so um London jean stretch how generic right <laughs> um I don't see a size on these London jean stretch um wow these are like bell bottoms oh sorry flare they don't like to call them bell bottoms anymore sorry but these are flared so maybe i'll try them and call them y2k 
that might that might be nice. Yeah, definitely. Mid-rise and flare. Okay, here we go. This is a what is this? Super skinny high waist jeggings, size 27. And denim. And denim. What is that sold at? I don't know. I can't think of it now. Um, but anyway, it is and denim. Um, it has that little tag, but they're a pair of black skinnies. Like they said, high rise skinny jeans and denim. I sold a pair of those before though. All right. This is really comfy. <laughs> this is blue spice size five. Looks like they have puckering though. And they're very used. Um, but yeah, there's blue spice size five. They are very stretchy, um, jagging like material faded and they've got some puckering. Let me let the cat out of my room. <laughs> Hi muffin. All right. This is hue size large. These are a pair of pull on jeans with Terry knit in the mid inside them. How fascinating. Okay. So anyway, I've never heard of that. Let me know if that's good or not. And these are definitely a pair of like jeggings. They've got Terry knit in them. They are, you know, skinny and yeah, they seem really comfy like jeggings stretch pull on. They do not appear to be vintage like the other ones. So, all right, this is GH Bass and Company, size 10, and they are a pair of straight leg jeans. Um, I, I haven't sold jeans for them before. Do you have a pair of pants listed that haven't been sold? So, we will see how jeans buy them do. There's a lot of jeans in here that would fit me which isn't a good thing. <laughs> um, this is mono print, mono pre femme, which sounds like French. It is a size 38. Um, is this a designer jean? They are a olive green color. They are in moto style, but they have a, and that is a definitely good sign that it's in European sizing. This sounds French mono, Mono pre -fem. fem. Okay, I'm done. All right, this is a Days size 25. It's called Hug. Um, they are very, very distressed. Um, <laughs> they look to be like straighter legs, so maybe this is still in trend. I will check it out. Um, but yeah, they might be a junior, so they might be going to buy sell. All right, this is Tommy Hilfiger, uh, size two regular. I don't know what's going on with the back of them here. Um, <laughs> I really don't know what's going on here. These look like they are a fake or something. Look at that. I mean, come on. And like, this is like sewn onto the pant. And the back says Tommy Hilfiger. Okay. And they're a pair of women's jeans. They are a straight leg. Um, they're black. I'll look them up. I mean, hey, what if these are like extremely valuable because they're messed up? <laughs> I doubt it though. It's not a Pokemon card. Or something. All right. And last but least is Riders. And it looks like a capri pant it is a size 14 petite and it is a capri pant which is nobody's buying now um so yeah that's probably a dud i probably just have to donate that <laughs> um they've got splits on the sides and stuff like that not really impressed with that <laughs> but anyway let me count to see how many i received and i will get right back to you all right y'all i got 40 pieces I will include all the numbers right up here. And after opening this box, I am a little bit happy with what I got. Definitely nothing too exciting, of course. I will try to sell William Rass. I will try to sell Democracy. I will try to see what that 
French jean was. But other than this, I do not recommend this at all. Like, I'm just like, double, double, no. Um, I totally would rather gamble with a thread up box. I've gotten Levi's in there, vintage, that sold for like 30 plus bucks. So, yeah, I definitely would. I'm going to go back to that. <laughs> but anyway, for $4 cost of goods, I, I, I just, I can't keep doing this. <laughs> I just can't. But anyway, I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you want to see more unboxings and more business reseller content. And as always, be kind, be courageous, and be the best you. Bye.